Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler, and this baseball highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company, and all of the 562's baseball coverage this season is sponsored by LBUSD Board of Education member Megan Kerr. On the road once again with the Millican Rams here in the South Bay. A beautiful day for baseball on the coast, taken on Palos Verdes in the quarterfinals. The Rams have been impressive on the road, playing mistake-free baseball, but no Miles Patton on the mound. Junior Dimitri Sirangelis going to get the start for Milliken, taking on the Sea Kings, winners of seven straight, champs of the Bay League, Sea King, a semifinal berth. Kendall Ward going to get it going with a leadoff walk in the bottom of the first. Patton over at first base going to tell Sirangelis, just relax, settle in. After a sack bunt, Ryan Roach going to smoke an RBI single to right field. Ward gets the wave and he will get the hosts on the board. It is 1-0 PV in the first, but that's all they would get. Alex Womack going to throw out the base runner on a nice pick by Gannon De La Cruz. There's that Millican defense making a play. PV went with an opener, but their bulk guy for this game was Alex Foreman. He pitched most of the innings, and he's greeted with a one-out single in the second by Miles Patton, usually helping his team on the bump, but he brought his bat with him to this game. But Foreman was the boss in the rest of the inning. He increased productivity with back-to-back -back strikeouts as the Sea Kings stay up one in the second. Bottom second, after a leadoff single, this sack bunt doesn't lead to an out. Patton ruled off the bag. We didn't have a good view of it. Milliken didn't really like the call. Later in the inning, they're at the corners with one out. Owen Park going to ground one to third. Izzy Santion going to throw him out. But here comes the runner for the plate, Garen Rizzo, and he is safe scoring from third. Again, didn't have a great view of the play. It did look like the ball beat him, but the tag is more important. Milliken head coach Ron Keister had a better look than we did, and he's saying, you know, you got we didn't get the call down there, didn't get the call over here. What the heck? It's 2-0. Sea Kings. Top three, Rams with a two-out rally as Sam DiCarlo is going to walk. Then he will promptly swipe second base. DiCarlo, a nice day at the plate. But this grounder can't find a hole as the Rams are going to strand a runner in scoring position in the third inning. Top four, here come the Rams again. Robert Voss going to drive one into left center field. That's a two-bagger as Voss had great at-bats all afternoon. And he's going to pull in with an easy stand-up double with one out. Next batter is Patton, who drills one to center field, but great running grab by Sean Leone. Voss is able to tag and move to third, but that looked like extra bases. Definitely a tip of the cap to the sophomore in center. But Christian Kafara would cash in the run with his liner back up the middle. Voss is going to score to put the Rams on the board. It's now 2-1. to one. That is a huge two-out run-scoring knock by Kafaro. Great job driving it right back up the box. Bottom four, after an error and a grounder move the runner to second, this wild pitch is going to allow Park to take an extra 90 feet. He's at third with one out. Then Ward cleavers this ball into left center field. That's going to one-hop the fence. Park scores easily on the RBI double. Right back at you comes PV. The lead is immediately back to two. It's three to one after four. Top five, there's that man again. DiCarlo starts another two-out rally with his first base hit. Then Cameron Hegeman's going to get plunked to put two runners on. De La Cruz going to smoke one to third, but Roach is there to stab it and get the final out. A big turning point there to keep the lead at two. Looked like that could have easily been a run. Great defense. Bottom five, after a one-out walk, Austin Paul in to pitch for Milliken. He issues a free pass to Foreman. Now there's two on. Paul then gets his ground ball. This could have been an inning-ending double play. Instead, the throw gets away. Rizzo does not stop coming around third. He scores to make it 4-1. to one. Defensive plays made versus plays not. These are the margins in these good quality playoff games. Paul does get the K to end the inning. He retired five straight batters with two strikeouts after issuing that leadoff walk. Nice job out of the pen. Top six, Voss with an infield single, then moves to second on a balk. Then Patton pulls it down the line, and Roach unable to get to the choppa. Voss going to round third, and he will score again his second run of the day. And the Rams are back within two. It's 4-2 to two PV here in the sixth inning. But the rally would end there for Milliken on this punch out to end the sixth. Now Rizzo comes in, PV's fourth pitcher of the day. He's trying to lock down the save in the seventh. 
After a K to start the inning, Sammy D isn't going down without a fight. His second hit of the day brings the tying run to the plate here in the top of the seventh inning, but with two outs, the strikeout will end it. This was just not Milliken's day in a tough road loss. They fall 4-2 to two here in the quarterfinals. Afterwards, an emotional goodbye for a hugely successful group of Rams, the Moore League champions, with another great playoff run in a higher division. Certainly nothing for these kids to hang their heads about. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And if you want to keep up with Long Beach sports, you're definitely in the right spot, the562.org.